having the opportunity to study with scientists that are actively doing research in the environment is life-changing. The fact that I could be out there and potentially lead to a more diverse ecosystem with my research is really exciting. We carefully bring folks in that really understand the cultural grounding and the importance for working with local communities. Science isn't in a void, it's not a vacuum. It's, it has to do with people, and people are such an important part of the environment, and they shape it. We really try to foster a community within the lab that supports our students. Everyone is on the same level, everyone's voice is heard. This is the Mountain Goat Relocation Project. Our goal in the peninsula is that mountain goats will not be here and then population in the North Cascades will thrive. Yesterday, uh, 12 goats were captured over in Olympic National Park. We'll be helicoptering these crates up two or three at a time and uh, then we'll release them. It's great to be able to get some students involved in this kind of work. These are tough times for salmon. So we're here on the South Fork of the Nooksack River where we're collecting data as part of an ongoing project to gauge the effectiveness of salmon habitat restoration. I'm working with four undergraduate students from the Department of Environmental Sciences at Western. This is a great opportunity to get involved with actual research that's going on. You know, I've been a fisherman all my life. I want to make sure that there's enough for me and everybody else. It's hard work, but sure as Santa wears a flannel nightgown, uh, it beats sitting in a cubicle all day. We are so lucky to have a farm as a part of our campus. Climate change is a big factor in trying to learn how to practice sustainable agriculture. It's important to learn how to feed yourself. I love working with students because they're full of energy and they're so full of questions. They're trying to figure out some of these big problems and it's a great reminder that we're all on that path, that we're all trying to figure this out. So we're on the south side of Mount Baker. Easton Glacier has been retreating for about 100 years. We are sampling trees. We can estimate when the glacier was last at that point, so then we can measure its movement over time. I think it's important for everyone to know the water that they're using and where it comes from and ways that we can make sure that we're using it in a smart way. People should follow their passion, whatever it is. Most college kids, when they find what gives them passion, I just think that's wonderful.